afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to start this afternoon with a, a very interesting high-level panel that we have on human mobility, environment, and climate change. Uh, it's a pleasure to have uh, the colleagues here in the podium with me. And let me first start by explaining why uh, are we organizing this panel uh, at this 105th uh, Council. Well, first of all, uh, IOM has been working, as uh, probably the majority of you know, over 20 years on the complex linkages between migration, environment, and climate. And we have seen a strong acceleration of activities over the past five years. Our member states, you all, have encouraged us to better share the knowledge and the experience that we have acquired through our work and projects. And hence, this is, in a certain way, a response to your request to share that knowledge uh, to, uh, to share that knowledge with you. The second reason why we have decided to bring this panel today is because we do have a two, uh, in our agenda, two double institutional processes that are happening at the same time. On the one hand, we have a series of operational activities that worldwide to address the needs of, of environmental migrants. And on the other hand, we have in-depth conceptual work. And this, I think, offers us a unique opportunity to connect our policy, the evidence building, and the operational activities that we have been doing. The third reason why we are doing this today is because we often hear the story of despair linked to migration and climate change. And one of the objectives of IOM in this is to change perceptions and to provide a better and better informed understanding on how migration can be also a positive adaptation strategy as well as an important tool for preparedness. Lastly, we also think there is a great opportunity to build the momentum. We work hard to mainstream migration into key processes, and we have been working hard on that. We work with states and partners on disaster risk reduction for the Sendai conference. The climate negotiations in Lima that are going to take place next week, and in partnership with all of you, we endeavor to bring human mobility on the arbitration table. We also bring migration inland, humanitarian and developmental processes, as well as into migration policy. So we think that this gives us a, a, a big opportunity to build the momentum of all these activities that are happening in different fora. We have basically three objectives of this panel today. The first is to underscore that human mobility in the context of climate change and environmental degradation is a defining reality of our times. And I think that is probably the most important message that we want to, you to take with you at the end of this. The second is to join voices across policy partitions. And I am extremely pleased because you already, several of you, and we have had already around 20, uh, 40 countries that have taken the floor in, in the general debate, and several of you have already highlighted the different facets of environmental migration in their statements with regard to uh, uh, environmental claim, uh, degradation and climate change. And the third is to affirm IOM's role and engagement on migration, environment, and climate change, and the responses to natural disasters and, uh, and, this, and disaster risk reduction. So, before taking, uh, instead of taking a lot more of your time, I would like to present you the distinguished panels that, the panelists that we have here with us. We will start with a 
video conference, video, a video message that has been sent by Ms. Christiana Figueres, the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the UNFCCC. Christiana Figueres is very sad to not be able to be today with us. And the reason is because she's already in Lima uh, for the next week uh, meeting. But she uh, was very interested in passing uh, a very important message for, for to all of you. And as a result of that, she sent us this. This will be focused on climate and migration. Uh, and uh, we, the second person uh, that is going to uh, intervene is Ms. Monique Barbu. Merci beaucoup de Trissi. Thank you for being here. Ms. Barbu is the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. And her presentation is going to be uh, based on the, or turn into the land-based adaptation perspective and uh, also bring into our discussion the point of view of one of the major conventions in this area. We welcome you very much. The next panelist is going to be the Vice Minister of uh, uh, Chile of Environment, Mr. Marcelo Mena Carrasco. Bienvenido. Uh, and in his presentation, the Vice Minister will talk about environment and adaptation perspectives and how these connect. And finally, two more, not finally. The fourth uh, will be His Excellency the Ambassador Shamin Ahassan, uh, Ambassador of Bangladesh. Uh, and the Ambassador will talk us, bring to, to the table the perspective of countries most vulnerable to climate change, and in particular, Bangladesh commitment within the Climate Vulnerable Forum that we had the opportunity to discuss earlier today. And finally, His Excellency the Ambassador Claude Bild, uh, who is uh, in charge of Human Security Division of the Swiss Federal Department of Foreign Affairs. And uh, Mr. Bild will bring into the discussion the human security dimensions in the, in the debate and gave insights also about the Nansen Initiative uh, that is uh, going to uh, and how it fits into, into this discussion. So let me start by the uh, video message uh, from Ms. Cristiana Figueres. 